Hello, today we're talking about how lightning forms. Now the first thing you have to have with lightning, you have to have a cloud. So we have to get the air rising. So you get rising air, much like you have in the middle of a summertime day when thunderstorms are very common. So the air starts to rise. The moisture inside that parcel of air, the water vapor, it cools when it reaches the dew point that water vapor will condense out into tiny drops that make up the cloud. It goes from a water vapor to a liquid. So now, as the air rises, cools, you get clouds, and if the air continues to rise, the clouds get bigger and bigger. And even in the summertime, they can reach a level, especially in thunderstorms, of 40, 50, maybe even 60,000 feet up. And in the tops of the clouds, the temperature is below freezing. And the water, you can have the raindrops that will turn into ice. And you can even have snow up there, even in the middle of summer, although you'd never see it because it would melt before it hits the ground. Anyway, so in now in this large cloud that goes way up in the atmosphere, you've got water and you've got particles of dust and you've got particles of ice in there and they're all rubbing against each other and, and as they collide. This causes static electricity. This causes electrical charges to build up. Now typically in the top of the cloud you'll have positive charges. Toward the middle of the cloud and toward the bottom you'll have negative. Now as a cloud moves over the ground that has this positive charge at the top, a negative charge at the bottom, what happens is positive charges will collect on the ground right underneath the cloud. And essentially all this electricity that's building up the cloud, it essentially wants to get down into the ground. And if enough of a charge builds up and you have enough of a difference in the charges between the top of the cloud and the bottom and the ground, you'll have a discharge, you'll have a spark. And that spark is taking the electricity and allowing it to flow to equal out from the cloud down into the ground. That spark is what we know as a lightning bolt.